I'd like to start out uh, asking you a little bit about the uh, student body at Florida International University. As I understand it, FIU has the largest Hispanic student population of any U.S.-based business school. And I believe that holds true for the business school at both the undergraduate and graduate levels. How did FIU achieve this very enviable position? Uh, Florida International University is the largest Hispanic serving public university in the country. That is a fact. And FIU Business, as we call it, College of Business, FIU Business is actually share a similar profile for that. And most of our students actually, I would say, first generation college students. And located in Miami, as you can imagine, the three county involved in that area has or have over probably six million population. And it's not uncommon that people would talk about 70% of the population in that region will use a language other than English as the main language, wow. you know, used in the household. Mm -hmm. So FIU Business has to embody that probably um, very hardworking and they go to school, but they also go work and they have their spare money, their whole mom and dad pay bills. Mm -hmm. Very hardworking group of students. And with that group of students, you know, we have challenges. So our programs and our strategic goals are very, very intentional, very deliberate in a way that we cater to that population mm -hmm. and making sure that, hey, our value proposition is, while they're very strong academic program, mm -hmm. we also want to produce whole candidates. Whole candidates in a way that we will create fringe programs, as I call it. And let me give you an example. Okay. Recently, we developed a a software, and a mobile app, and we call it BizPass. The BizPass is for us to introduce what I call the essential skills. And we focus on three aspects, professional, academic, and social. So imagine, let's say ACSB comes and give a talk about the accreditation importance, how impactful business education is be. We give you a QR code, student come in, you know, scan a QR code, attend the event, they earn points. It's kind of like a frequent flyer, nice. right? Yes. Through this kind of program, they will be able to kind of like encourage to participate. Mm -hmm. First, we actually create a big community of engagement, mm -hmm. right? They want to be part of the school. And then at the tail end, we become a lot more deliberate, more intentional of putting students into program that we believe will really going to impact their learning journey mm -hmm. with us. So I'm, I'm actually very proud of, you know, the strategic goal we're doing to provide a wide array of professional, you know, fringe program for our student. So when they get out, they will be a full-blown, well-trained professional. I'd like to ask you a question, Joanne, about your background okay. uh, back when you were a student. Yes. Um, did your experiences in, as an international student help to inform the way that FIU business serves and supports its international student body? There's no doubt about it. Hmm. My experience as an, as an international student, that actually gave me a deeper understanding of the challenges the international students face. Hmm. So one of the um, attractive points about FIU business is that the student body is so diverse, very inclusive. And our students face very different kind of set of problem. You know, unlike you know most of the school, we see that they want to increase diversity. Our student actually is very diverse. They walk into a place and expect everywhere should be like this, <laughs> okay? And but as a, as an international student, you know, in the past, mm -hmm. I understand, and I think that as an, an international student in the past, make me understand to build a very strong sense of community mm. is very important mm. because I want candidate walk in and feel like this is home away from home. This is where my learning, my growing will be done. Mm. And so as a dean and also as an international student in the past, I really think that that's my number one commitment to my number one constituency is to build, continue to build a very strong sense of community, a sense of belonging.